everybody! Welcome back to Working Musician Makeup. This week, I played a couple of gigs. One was on the coast, out in Beaufort, North Carolina, and I played with a man called the Belmont Playboys. They have a wonderful female trombone player, and we were kind of both standing up on the stage with the lights hitting us, and the humidity has just started to kick in here in North Carolina, and she was just like, whew, I'm so glad that I wore my setting spray. And I was like, that works for you too? And she was like, yes, it's been working great. So I'm going to recommend a setting spray for you guys. Uh, this one is called Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray. I kind of like the small size. It fits in my makeup kit right here. I try to keep a small one. I actually have a kit for every genre of music. It just seems to be easier. You can throw it in your bag and uh, get ready for your gig. So this stuff is basically like a really fancy, super nice hairspray for your face. It is not sticky. You don't really feel like there's stuff on you. I just use one small spritz across my face with your eyes closed, of course. Don't leave your eyes open. Just don't do it. And it sets it in place. I let it dry a little bit. I've noticed that if you don't let it dry for just a second, you might like open your eyes and suddenly, you know, your eyeliner is like on your top lid shade. So, just be careful. Anyway, she says it works for her. It's worked for me. So I'm going to recommend the setting spray for this episode. It's kind of the bomb. But definitely try it on your own. If you guys know any other setting sprays that you enjoy, please let me know. And I will definitely try them out and see how they work. And again, I always want to get your opinions. The second thing that has kind of contributed to success this weekend has been... Cannonball Mascara. Ooh. This is also by Urban Decay. Uh, I got this because there was a review by a woman who does mermaid, I guess, performing underwater. She must be in an aquarium or something, but she said this is the one that she uses. And I was like, cool, if it's perfect for a mermaid, it's going to work for me. So I have noticed that at the end of the day, I do get a little bit of uh, mascara leakage onto my cheeks here. But it's very minimal, and this stuff you have to take off with a makeup remover. It does not move at all. So I've definitely had like two days later still trying to take off some of the mascara. But it's worth it. It stays on. It does not move. Won't budge under those beautiful stage lights. So now let's move on to what in the world I've got on my eyelids here. I was trying to make a color that matched my dress. I couldn't find as vivid of a blue, and perhaps you guys can recommend some pretty blues to me. But the ones that I have found are kind of fun. So I treated myself to an on-sale palette because working musician makeup, you buy the on-sale palettes. How it goes. So, but this one's beautiful. I bought it basically because it was pretty. I like it. Okay, this one's by Tarte. It's called the Make Believe in Yourself palette. I'm not sure if you can find it anymore. You might be able to find it on a couple like online retailers, but it is very, very pretty. Here it is. Comes with a very nice mirror. I know you kind of like see. There we go. You can see. Ah, infinity! So, this little palette has a bunch of very beautiful shades. And I use this blue one here. That's Dream. To kind of help with my makeup tonight. And I even use this little inner. They call this a highlighter. But actually, it's a hidden duochrome. And a duochrome will just set all sorts of things on fire. So I use that as like my base here to try to get these blues to pop a little more. So that's kind of a cool little palette if you can find it. Then what I did is I used Urban Decay's Moon Dust palette. Ooh. There's a shade in here that I really like. It's called Vega. Can I get it? Vega. It's a really cool, fun blue. I also use the color... Can I see it? Yeah. Granite that you see kind of here. It kind of gives you a little bit of a glam rock shimmer. And you can kind of see it kind of around the edges there. It's more like kind of there. But you can see I was trying to try and get some blues to do some gradient work here. Last but not least, I got an Urban Decay palette for Christmas. And this is the Heavy Metals palette. In the Heavy Metals palette, there's a bunch of super duper cool colors, and I really love them all because they're all sparkly, and let's be honest, things just sparkle under stage lights. It's fun. So, maybe not perfect for uh, the working girl musician that needs a neutral look, something that's a little more eye-catching. 
I use this shade right here. It's called Dive. It's really fun. So that's the bluest of the blues that you see. Then right here in the edges of my corner, I use a shade called Ground, which is all the way up here. It's kind of like, not a black black, it's more of a really dark color. It reminds me of uh, the grills on Fender amps, the sparkly, just kind of grayish, darkish, really beautiful color. I'm convinced that's where they got this color from. Anyway, I kind of put that in the corner there. And then, just to blend it all, I ended up using a highlighter. I don't use highlighters. I don't understand highlighters. I am sure that you guys can find and teach me cool things about highlighters, but I just find that I just don't have time to do highlighters and contours. However, Urban Decay has this great thing called the Afterglow Highlighter in the shade Sin. It's a very beautiful color and uh, I actually use it as an eyeshadow. So it's like the main eyeshadow that I put down to kind of blend everything. And I'm gonna give you a little close up here. You can kind of see what I was doing. You kind of see there's like the sin that's like up here and the rest of it is kind of like blue gradients out with a little bit of the granite kind of, kind of getting, yeah, I don't know, just kind of getting to like, I was trying to blend it a little bit. But you can see how much is kind of fallen out over the day. It's not too bad. So, there you go. It's not too horrible. I see a little bit of leakage here as to what's going on, but not too bad from sweating. So that's the color that you see on my face. Next up, I use something I actually got from my mother's makeup. It's an All May liquid eyeliner. It comes in a little tube like this. It's waterproof. You can buy it at the drugstore. It's great. It's got a little thing in it. You shake it up. The cool thing about this is it comes with a very nice little brush that's built in. And there it is. It's great because I don't have to carry an extra brush. I don't have to carry an extra little pot of stuff. I tried gel liner for a while. It just would go everywhere and just had too many things. This is one thing. It's all together. It's waterproof. So they say I have like kind of sweated some of it off. So just be wary of that. But this thing has been great. And you can kind of see it there and you can get that nice like 50s look. Anyway, so that's a little bit about what worked for tonight. And uh, yeah, I played a wedding gig tonight. That's why I'm dressed up in this. And it was kind of at a fun roadhouse called The Kraken. Turns out that one of our band vans broke down. So half the band was there, the other half wasn't. And it ended up kind of being a little bit of, a, of an adventure. But uh, that's life and live music. So that's it for this edition of Working Girl Makeup. I've been your host, Billy Feather. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found some things that you can use. And have a great day or night or afternoon, wherever you are.